first things first, I'm going to loop the uh, big end so it doesn't start dry. And the same with the small end. We're going to rebuild that anyway, but it's a good idea to get it all looped. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on the oil seal just so that it's not a dry face. Help one start up. Just greasing up that, that shaft a little bit just to help its entry into the bearing and the edge for the seal as well. And then we'll introduce it to the crankshaft. Be careful not to touch the seal. Okay. Right, hitting crankshafts is a really bad idea. So I came up with this tool, the uh, just a nut that fits onto the end of there, so you've got a thread that you can pull. And then we've got a uh, Sundance grip with a hole in it. And this end rests against the bearing, so you're pulling directly the crank through the inner race. Um, rather than if you put a pressure on there, you're actually trying to squash the bearing. But this is only pulling the on the inner race, so we'll just thread that onto there. Put that onto there. So we'll have a look, just check when it when the seal's starting to the crank's starting to go through the seal. And then uh, <laughs> just trap my finger underneath it. I think that's it, it's home. So that's a lot easier. It's less likely to do any damage. A lot of people used to trap tap cranks in, but this way, um, we're pulling it. It's not going to cause any hassle, so...